Yolt is probably the best alternative physics engine for good old. It provides much better behavior and performance. We'll compare good old and Yolt to see what actual results we are getting for you to know which of these two you should be using right now. In order to be performing this test, we are going to be using this project um, that I have created. So the elements that it contains, it has this uh, main scene that, well, the only thing that it has is this kind of platform um, that basically is a collection of uh, mesh instances along with some static bodies for us to be able to collide with then uh, the vaults. And then we also have like the the usual nodes that we have in any scene, a 3D node, a directional light, uh, a world environment, and also a camera 3D. Uh, and also we have here a pretty simple UI displaying how much time it, it has passed uh, since we started playing and the current amount of uh, FPS. Besides this, uh, we have the bolt scene. The only thing that we've got over here is a rear shield body with the default settings. As you can see, no settings have been modified in terms of the rear shield body. Uh, a mesh instance, actually a, a, a circle, and uh, it's a corresponding collision shape. Then in the main uh, node, what is happening is that every uh, 0 0.005 seconds, uh, we are spawning over here a vault with this function, okay? And then uh, all the time we are well updating the current FPS as well as the time label text. All the project has the best practices possible to ensure the best performance, basically using over here static typing and also the, the code is uh, as clean um, as possible, okay? Also, in order to have the best performance, we're going to be exporting our project for Windows um, so that, yes, we try to have uh, the game running at the highest performance uh, that it is possible. Now, if you don't already know how to install YOLT, it is actually super simple. In any kind of project, you will go to the asset library and here you will uh, search for YOLT, okay? This is the one that we need. I'm going to click it, click download. Give it just a second this is super fast then install and as you can see now in a matter of seconds we can just restart the editor and we are going to be having yolt inside uh, of good old okay this isn't all that we have to do we also have to go to project project settings make sure that advanced settings is on and in physics 3d physics engine we select yolt physics 3d and once again we have to restart our project once this is done, YOLT will be successfully be the physics, the physics engine that we're going to be using and you can even tweak here some specific values about uh, YOLT. Some, something that is worth mentioning is the fact that I'm using over here GoodOat 4.2.2, the latest version before GoodOat 4.3. Uh, since well right now YOLT doesn't support GoodOat 4.3. If you try to install it, it will tell you that YOLT doesn't support 4.3 and that you must downgrade to 4.2 if you want to use it. But well, of course, maybe when you are actually seeing this video or a couple of hours later, a couple of days later, maybe, uh, YOLT is able to run in good old 4.3. It is also important for you to know the uh, YOLT README. Basically, the README will give you information about how to use YOLT uh, and also you will know the latest information about YOLT, in this case, if it, if it is able to be used in good old uh, 4.3. So I will here look for YOLT, and as you can see right now, it, it is only available for good old 4.2, but you can actually take a look at here the view files option, and you will find this. Um, so right now, as, as you can see, uh, this is the repository, basically where all the code that uh, YOLT has behind is here, Oh, well, you even have here more information about what features are there, uh, what's not supported, what things are uh, being uh, are different in YOLT and without physics, etc. But well, the most important thing is that we can take a look at the commits, basically the changes that have been happening to YOLT. Oh, well, as you can see, actually in the last hours there have been some changes, but what, right now uh, I don't think that they really have to do with updating them to... Uh, uh, to go to 4.3 but well take make sure that you're taking a look at the repository because here 
whenever it is available to be used in Windows 4.3, here in the repository is going to be the first place. So now let's see Guido's physics performance. So I will open this up and let's see what happens. So as soon as we start, things do start to go well, but as soon as we reach something like 6-7 seconds, we have less than 60 FPS, what of course is a super super bad performance. However, we are still able to get pretty good behaviors. Uh, the only time where, when collisions aren't detected is at the very beginning of the project, but well, in all the rest of it, it is quite accurate, okay? There aren't balls that are trespassing the collisions or anything that, like that. So, well, the, the, the only thing that isn't maybe correct is the performance, okay? But in terms of behavior, um, it does look quite, quite good. And now, let's see Yolt's performance. So, I will open this up. Oh, well, now let's see more, more importantly what happens when we reach those 7 seconds. Uh, so right now, as you can see, 7 seconds in, we get more than 60 FPS. Actually, we can continue play, uh, playing, and it isn't until 14, 13 seconds that we get less than 60 FPS, what is amazing. And also, the behaviors are quite, quite good. Once again, at the beginning, we get some errors with the collision detection, but I think that that doesn't have to do directly with YOLT or Girl Physics. That is something that is bad with the project itself. Um... But well, once again, the behaviors are super, super accurate. But well, here we are getting literally twice the performance that we got in good old physics. And then right now we are seeing a comparison between YOLT and good old physics being played at the exact same time so that you can see these differences a little bit better. So this was all that I wanted to mention in this video between YOLT and Google Physics. We saw that indeed, even though both provide quite interesting behaviors and quite accurate, YOLT is just much much better in terms of performance than the default Google Physics. Therefore, you should really consider start using growth from uh, YOLT in your growth projects from now on because we saw that it is quite stable the performance is quite interesting as well as its behaviors so you literally won't lose anything if you start using YOLT just the contrary you will start gaining some interesting FPS if this video has been helpful and you want to continue learning stuff about Godot and its physics make sure that you are subscribed to the channel see you in the next one and bye bye